Look, I got an email from Art Prof. It came through. Hey, so I ran out of, well, I actually have one left, but I like to keep one or two spares um, to not sell on Etsy in case something goes wrong and a package doesn't make its way to the person who bought it. But I have one of my keychains left for the Gamer Girl controller that I designed. And I started looking into other keychain manufacturers because the problem I have with the sticker meal one is it's only one-sided. And ideally I would like it to be double-sided. So I started looking into some stuff and I found this website called Vograce. Um, sorry, I'm so out of breath. I'm just like walking up and down the stairs. Anyway, so <laughs> I found this website and I found some reviews and it looks like they do decent work. Um, but shipping is kind of expensive. But overall, their products aren't horribly expensive. So I ordered their sample pack to kind of like get an idea of quality and stuff like that. Although all the videos I've watched so far, it seems good. So that's nice. So I ordered a sample pack and then I'm kind of trying to brainstorm ideas for keychains, stickers, maybe washi tape. They do mouse pads. They do a lot of different products. So I'm kind of excited to try out. Their stickers are also a whole lot cheaper than Sticker Mule. Because Sticker Mule, you pay $60 for 50 stickers, which is why I always order them when they're on sale, because I can get them for like 20 bucks. But then it's already like $18, $19 for 50 stickers, and that's just like the standard price, which is really good. And that's like... If you order more, you get discounted more. So per sticker, it's cheaper. So I'm probably gonna, at some point in the next month or two, just try to put in a big order of a bunch of stuff. Probably order low quantities and just kind of like see how it works out. But that means that I need to get designing some stuff because I don't want everything to be the same design or old designs. So there might be a shop update in the future. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't seen my Etsy shop, go check it out. I have some cute stuff up there, um, especially if you like dogs and stuff and cats. Um, yeah, that's my little update. I am, I think, going to work on this painting because there's still a lot of work to do. So yeah, I'm going to do that for a bit. guys it's been a few days since we've talked and I thought I would update you on what I'm doing art wise so I've actually designed a couple things so let me grab my iPad so I can show you um I've kind of like recently gotten back into designing stickers so I um kind of want to do a big Vogue Race order so here's my dilemma so Vogue Race is really really cheap when it comes to stickers um they're kind of more expensive when it comes to keychains but I think better quality compared to what I was getting from Sticker Mule. So I want to do a really big order because their shipping is kind of expensive. So I'd rather lump it all together 
Um, so I'm thinking like maybe at the end of this month or next month, I'll just do like one big order. So the other thing is my uncle actually owns a printing shop and has offered to do some stickers, but I have a feeling they might be more expensive than Vogue Race. So I'm not really sure who I'll order the stickers from, but the keychains, obviously I have to order through Vogue Race. Um, yeah, the other dilemma that I'm having currently is that I really want to change my name on all of my social media handles because I feel like doodles and things is just really generic and there is another YouTube channel with doodles and things um and I just want to maybe stand out a little bit more I just I'm having a really hard time deciding what to change the name to because I kind of want to have my name in it but everything I can think of that has melody or something like that in it is already taken and so the one thing that I can find so far is Melody Guthrie with the the three part of my last name being an actual three dot art but I need to check all of the social media platforms to see if that's taken like YouTube, Etsy, Facebook, Instagram because I would like them all to be the same so I need to see if that is available everywhere. Um, yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing. I really want to change the name. I'm just having a hard time deciding what to change it to. Or if I should change it to something more creative that doesn't even have my name in it. Um, and I feel like this is a good time to change it because as it is, I have like... 200 something subscribe uh, followers on Instagram. I have like 300 something on YouTube and while like yeah, maybe I'll take a little hit for changing my name. It won't be that bad if like in the future I end up with a larger account and a lot of people following. I feel like that could have more drawback than when my um business is still pretty small. So, if you have any good ideas and I haven't changed my name yet already, let me know. Um anyway, let me show you the art that I designed. So I started drawing this actually yesterday and finished it this morning. And I want to turn this into a sticker. Whoa, can you even see that? Hold on. There you go, you can see that better. So I wanna turn this into a sticker and I kinda of wanna do, oh, what did I just do? Uh, no. I kind of want to turn it into a sticker and I want to do a series that has like lab equipment and stuff like this because I came up with some really good ones yesterday and then I also I don't think I shared yet drew this which actually was an idea I had a while ago and I was cleaning up my desk and found a quick sketch of it on a sticky note and I was like oh yeah I was gonna draw that so I drew this I think last week I haven't posted it to Instagram yet so I would like to do a series of keychains and stickers and stuff like that um so we'll see how that goes Okay, we are officially changing the name of everything to Melody Guthrie Art, which I think stands out better than other things I've been searching and there are less people that have similar names, so hopefully it'll help me stand out. But also some people might like lose me because they might try to search for my actual name and not be able to find me. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, I don't know if I said this, but now I'm gonna have to redo all my banners on everything like Facebook and YouTube and stuff because it has my old name on it. So, <laughs> um, I need to draw that sometime, hopefully in the next week, so that it's not mismatching for too long. I should have thought of that, but thought about that before I went ahead and changed my name, but that's okay. This change needs to happen. It also means the old banner that I had for a craft fair, uh, I can't use, and also all my business cards I should probably update yeah it's okay okay everything's been updated and i think i really like this because my personal instagram account is melody guthrie and then my art account is melody guthrie art so i feel like everything is just more connected and cohesive this way my youtube channel is now as you'll see by the time this has gone up um just melody guthrie and i did that because i post art stuff but i also post vlogs and things like that and so i thought it keeps it a little bit more open to posting whatever I want instead of having to be just art. And so that's why I did that. Um, Instagram I already talked about. So Facebook is Melody Guthrie Art. What else did I change? 
Um, and then Etsy obviously is Melody Guthrie Art because I sell art on there. So I feel like everything just ties in a lot better doing it this way. Um, honestly, I've never been happy with the doodles and things name. Um, I, I just, I needed a name and I found that and I couldn't think of anything better. So I ran with it and I've never liked it. So officially we are now Melody Guthrie or Melody Guthrie Art. And I like that. I like that I can just be myself now. I'm not hiding behind a name and it just feels more me. So hopefully we'll stick with this name. We won't have to change it again. Um, I was able to get it on all of my platforms and that was the thing I was most concerned about. So now I need to design some more stuff. I need to design a banner and I don't think I'll be doing that this weekend, but hopefully sometime soon. So bear with me if you see some things that are mismatched. I am working on it. Um, I'm just not sure how long it's gonna take. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some lunch because I'm hungry. So I figured I'd give a little update um, for this studio vlog. I am making a mess of things, um, but I've mostly just been organizing. So I actually put this board up here because I was thinking I could like stand at it and draw. And then I also like made this corner better. So I put all of my, originally they were on that bookshelf and now they're all over here. All of these jars, extra paints, things to mix paints with. And then I got this pig board from Ikea. And so it has a lot of my acrylic paints, my gouache, watercolors, uh, more paints, all my paint brushes, uh, my paint palette, paper towels. We're going to have my um, easel over here and there's a cat on the floor. Um, so yeah, right now I'm really just trying to like organize and go through everything and throw out the things that I don't need. And I feel like it's been a while. Like honestly, I don't think I've really gone through stuff since I moved in. So I just want to go through, throw away the things I don't need, reorganize things. There's some stuff up here that I think really should belong downstairs in the office. Um, originally I didn't really know like what I was going to use in each room, like how much computer stuff would I need up here, but all my flash drives and stuff I think really should probably belong downstairs in the office and not up here. So I'm just going to like take a box of stuff down there. I'm just trying to organize everything. And I think once I have everything organized and put up, I'll probably do a studio tour because I don't think I've done one since I moved here. So um, thumbs up if you'd like to see that. I feel like I'm just making an even bigger mess. I just have stuff all over the floor. friends I have you up on my windowsill so I'm not sure how well that's gonna work looks like there's a lot of glare I don't know if that helped much um but it's been a hot minute since I've talked to you guys so I figured we were kind of due for an update so um basically I went to Portland which has nothing to do with art but before I went there I was scrolling through Instagram and saw an application for a convention for like Artist Alley stuff and I applied kind of on a whim. The application was only open for a weekend and I think at the time that I applied there was like a month until the con so I kind of figured I wouldn't get in so I wouldn't really have to worry about the stress of getting everything together um, in like less than a month but I got in so now I'm worrying about the stress of getting everything ready in a month um as most of you if you've been following me for a while or follow me on Instagram I don't do a lot of fan art and that's mainly because while I am a fan of a lot of things I feel like um I used to use fan art as a crutch to just like use someone else's style which I think is totally fine but I've been trying to like venture out and do new things however for this as a convention I feel like fan art is more 
um, targeted towards the audience, if that makes sense. Conventions, typically people buy fan art, they don't buy a lot of people's original work. Now I do have some like cute stickers and stuff, so maybe those will sell, I don't really know. But I decided to make buttons, so I bought myself this button press. Um, and yes, I got this like purple pink color. There were other colors available, but I wanted this one. Um, so we're making buttons and I have kind of like a sample of one of this guy. I don't know if it'll focus. Me? I don't know. Okay, so you can kind of see it. Um, so I'm making a bunch of Pokemon buttons, but then I had the issue of I don't know if you could see when I was holding it up, but like there's streaks across this. This printer that I have is like, literally got it for like less than $50 and it doesn't print images very clearly. It's fine for like documents or whatever, but if you're trying to print something like this, it's not good. So I also bought a printer that arrived today. So I'm probably gonna take today to try to like figure out setting that up. Um, yeah. And then I need to make all the pins. I have one more pin design that I want to do. I'll show you what I've done so far. But I have one more design I want to do and then I need to figure out printing them and then like making all the buttons. And I don't know how much to make because I literally have no idea how much I'll sell. Um, it is a really small con. I'll be transparent. The table price was only $120 when I did um, craft fairs, I think. The small like holiday craft fair, I want to say the table was $75 and then for the larger three day summer craft fair that I did, the table I think was $100. So it's not much more than that. We'll see how much I get in sales, but so um, yeah, I thought buttons might be nice. So I did that one that you already saw and then there's this one, which I relate to um, almost every day. And then this one, which might honestly be one of my favorites. I just think she turned out really cute. And then I drew this one today, actually, on my lunch break. Um, I do sometimes take my iPad with me to work. Sometimes on my lunch break, I'll just sit in my office to eat. Or um, sometimes it's just nice to take, like, I don't know, this one took 15 minutes. I just took a little 15-minute break. From doing work and drew this guy and you know it's quick but I think it's cute. Um, also part of the reason I'm thinking about button designs not only the fan art aspect but also at cons I think most people tend to buy smaller price items so in general at least like the friends that I have and myself included in general, if you're selling a original piece for a hundred bucks, the chance that you're gonna sell it is relatively low. But if you're selling like art prints for like under fifteen dollars, I feel like the the like under fifteen dollar tier is where you're gonna get most of your sales. And then you might have a few people that will buy like something that's twenty twenty five um, dollars. So like the buttons, what I'm thinking right now, price wise, is like fifty cents a piece because they're small. Um, and then maybe like do a promo where it's 50 cents each and then five for $2. That way you're getting a small discount and encourages people to buy more, right? And then I'll, of course I'll have a lot of stickers and then I don't know if I showed you guys this yet or not, but I drew this sticker, um, which I think is adorable. He's got like boba on his back. So I'm getting that printed as a sticker and a keychain. Um... The other thing that I'm getting printed, which is not con related, actually before I found out I was getting into the con, I started doing a bunch of like sciency doodles. So I made this and I also ordered it as a sticker. It says overreacting. I don't know if you can really read that, but I have a bunch of like ideas to do that. And I'll probably do a store update that has a bunch of like sciency stickers. So if you're into that kind of thing, check that out. Um, when it happens, just like follow my Instagram because that's where I post most of that stuff. Um, I'm trying to think what else I missed. So I was also thinking like before the con, if I have time, maybe I'll make some small originals to sell. And while I was in Portland, I went to this tiny little art store and they had these artist trading cards. And I thought these might be really good to just do some like small things, sell it for like a couple bucks, not much. And then someone can have an original if they want. And this is something that I could technically draw on during the con as well. 
And I also got this teeny tiny sketchbook, which I think is absolutely adorable. And I figured this could be good for the con because the pages are so small. It's kind of like a door in my house, but I think it was just my cat. I was playing with a cardboard box on the floor. So that's that. And then I also got this, um, this is nothing special. It's literally just a pen. But this is a fountain pen and I've always wanted one. So I bought myself one because it was only like three bucks. Um, sorry, I have a lot to update you guys on. So the next thing is I ordered a sampler pack from Vogue Grace, which I guess is like a, a manufacturer that a lot of people are using right now for keychains and stuff. But I wanted to see their actual quality. And that's why where I ordered some of my stuff from and I'm a little bit concerned about it arriving on time because the sampler took like a week and a half to arrive and they didn't have to special print these but my stuff they'll have to special print so I don't know if it'll actually come in time for the con so I only ordered um extra controller keychains and some stickers that like I don't really need for the con but the Bobasaur I ordered through Sticker Meal because they're always really fast and I should have that by the middle of next week. But anyway, I got the sampler pack from Vogue Grace and like there are some items now that I kind of want to try out. So they have these cute little like keychain things. I don't know. It's weird, but it's cute. And then they also do lanyards. I did think of ordering some lanyards, but I would have had to design something and I've never designed any like lanyard or washi tape or anything before so um I didn't feel like taking the time to do that they also have washi tape which is really cool so maybe one day I'll do that they have buttons but the thing is with these buttons is like now that I have the button press I can actually order parts so like I don't you guys can't see it the parts that the buttons fit into you can order and it's about 75 dollars per thing so if I want to make a star buttons i can just order that part for 75 dollars and then just order the like button parts and make it myself without having to order it which the downside is that it's a lot of money up front because i'm having to buy the equipment but long term if i want to just make like 10 buttons um i can't i don't have to order like 50 buttons because most manufacturers that you order from will require you to buy a minimum order of something so if I ever have like an event or something that a friend wants some buttons for, for some reason, I can just like whip them up for them. No deal. And then I really appreciate it in their sample pack. They give you samples for all their stickers. So these are quite small, but it gives you an idea of all their different types of stickers that they have. So I thought that was really neat. And then they have the keychain, which I really like this keychain. I feel like it's better quality than the sticker mule keychain, which is unfortunate that I ordered the Bulbasaur, but I just wanted to make sure I had it in time. Um, but let me show you the sticker mule ones. Um, okay. So this, the sticker mule ones look like this. Oh, yeah, like that. But there's no, um, there's no back, which I don't like. As where this one, uh, this one's thicker. It feels like a little more heavy duty and you can have it double sided. So I like that aspect of it. I will probably be ordering keychains from Vogue Grace more frequently. They are more expensive, but you get higher quality. And I also like, I'm not a fan of this plastic piece right here. I would rather it be um, this like metal. And they have a bunch of different like shapes and stuff that you can get. So I think that was really cute. I think that is everything I have to update you on. I'm going to work on getting my printer set up. I don't know that I'm going to have it in this room. I might have it down in the office because honestly, if I print anything, I'll probably like send it from my phone or iPad or whatever to my computer because I have a color accurate monitor where I can kind of like color adjust a little more easily and then send it to my printer and like adjust as needed. Um, yeah, I need to make that one more design. I need to make a ton of buttons. I don't know how many I need. So that's like my biggest dilemma right now. And I also got this 
like container box. So this is actually meant for perler beads, but I figured it would work pretty well for buttons as well because you have the nice little like separation and then you can take these out. So that's neat. Um, yeah, I don't know how many I can fit in here. I was kind of figuring I would just make as many of each design as I can fit, at least in one of these trays, if not two. I just, yeah, it's, that's the thing about like cons and stuff is you just don't know how much people are going to sell and it's better to have too much product than not enough, but you don't want to have so much that you're spending a lot of money out of pocket which I already kind of am for this equipment, but hopefully I'll at least make back the table fee, if not like enough to pay back the button press and um, maybe part of the printer. I don't expect to make enough to cover the printer because the printers aren't cheap. This printer I think was like 280-ish dollars, which as far as printers go, isn't horrible, but still it's a good chunk of money. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking and get to work. I also forgot to mention that I got these like wire things. Um, so at cons, if you guys haven't been, a lot of people stand these up and then like clip art and stuff to it. So I've been wanting to do that. I just never knew what to call those. So if you guys have been in the same dilemma, search for wire storage shelves, Amazon basics. It was like a little over $30 and it comes with enough to do six cubes. It's quite a bit, it's more than I need but it'll be nice to have. Okay, so I think I've, I'm have i part of the way there to getting it set up. Um, it's not too bad, except that I tried to put the ink cartridge in upside down, so that obviously didn't work, but I figured it out by the third one. <laughs> um, and now it's doing something internally that the paper says is gonna take three minutes. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Also, if you're wondering, I keep getting a ton of zucchinis from my garden, like, Here's one I pulled today. Here's one I pulled yesterday. And here's one I pulled a few days ago. Um, so I need to start eating zucchini. I feel like lately zucchini has been my main source of vegetables because I am just growing so much that like if I eat any other vegetable, I'm probably not gonna eat it all before it goes bad. And I wanna like get my money's worth out of zucchini, you know? So I've been trying to do like a mock-up display for kind of like how I want things and obviously I still need to add prices and stuff but this is kind of what I've got so far. So I need to do some like price signs. I went to the store today and got some more paper because I'm out of paper and I wanted to get some nicer paper because I'm also out of the paper that came to make the buttons. So I got some paper that hopefully will work for that. I don't really know, but it said to use glossy. Um, yeah, I don't know. I got some just like cheap photo paper and then I got some also like a slightly more expensive matte paper because I want to try to make my own prints with this printer because it's really good and just see if I can. Um, I also want to have a couple prints for Comic-Con, so I have the one by my office, if you guys have seen previous vlogs, so I want to print a few of that one, and then maybe make one or two new ones, and then just make a few small originals. I always like to have a few small originals that are so small that they don't take a lot of time, and I usually price them at like 10 bucks, and then if someone wants to have a piece of original work, they can without having to spend a fortune. 
Okay guys, another update on this con. Look at these adorable sticker and keychain I just got in. I love them so much. It's a boba sore. I'm also working on making prints of this guy and the paper said the wider side is the side you print on. And like, I could not tell the difference and I think it's just cause it was too dark in the room. But now that I'm in like natural lighting, you can tell. I don't know if it'll pick up on camera, but like this one is wider and this is like not quite white. So I'm reprinting some of those, which is annoying because it's not the cheapest paper in the world. Not super expensive either, but I'm going to make some 8 by 10s I kind of like the way it looks with a border. Um, I did cut one without a border and like it's okay, but I don't love it. And I'm also going to have some 4 by 6s but I think it looks better with a border like that. I don't know. That's just me. I guess I should tell you, I'm also applying for another craft fair, not a convention, um, but it won't be until November. So I'm not sure how long it'll take to find out if I've gotten it or not. Hi friends, I'm here to end this vlog. It is almost the end of July and I don't think a whole lot's gonna happen in the next couple days. Um, but I bought this like paper guillotine thing. They're expensive. I didn't realize how expensive they are. This one was $100, but I did get it on sale for like 40 bucks. And so I am making my own prints of this. I also have one that I did in like marker and colored pencil that I scanned in of like a, a grouped kind of character. Um, and then I might just see if I can do another digital piece if I have time to draw one. If not, I might just focus on doing some smaller original pieces and getting those done. But I got this guillotine so I could cut the prints that I'm printing from my printer and not have to order prints because I'm just in a time crunch and I don't have time to wait for prints to arrive. In the long run, this is also probably the cheaper way to go because I can print like 10 things with my printer instead of having to order like a minimum of 50 or whatever from the websites that require that. Anyway, that's it for this month. Next month, stay tuned for all the convention stuff. Ooh, there's hair floating around. Um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.